turbulence, but nothing. Some wine canceled. Ended. Welcome to our room at the Malia Las Americas. Woohoo! Favorite cigars from Cuba. Good morning. So today is our officially our first day in Cuba, in Veradero. We got in yesterday in the afternoon, just got the lay of the land, checked into our rooms and just hung out, relaxed. So I didn't really film too much, but I did give you guys the room tour. So I hope you enjoy that. It is a bit cloudy right now, but that's okay because it's gonna clear up and we're here for two weeks. Right now we're just hanging out by the lobby. The Melilla Las Americas has this gorgeous lobby and this like gorgeous little patio surrounded by palm trees and you have the best view of the water and it's the perfect place to enjoy a cup of coffee or a drink. If you've never been to Melilla Las Americas, they have recently done some renovations and upgraded parts of the hotel. So we actually got a newly upgraded room at the level. The room is just beautiful. It's so clean. Plus there's a lot of other perks that come with the level. When we checked in, they pre-made us three reservations at the a la carte restaurants. You get free internet. As part of the level, you get about 60 hours per week, saying for two weeks. So we get 140 hours of free internet. And instead of um, in the past, you used to buy these like cards for one hour and yeah every hour you have to keep buying them so this time it's a lot better because they actually give you the code and it's good for a while the other big big change is that they got rid of the cuc which was the cuban convertible peso they've discontinued that and now it's um everybody uses including the tourists they use the um cup which is the cuban regular peso so today we're going to do some shopping go to the mall that's like walking distance from the hotel and go to the downtown Veradero. So we're just walking around downtown Veradero and, uh, sorry, Varadero. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna go find some food and drinks. Look at these guys. Goats. Oh, look at that little bar. We passed there before. 
take this rooster and eat him. <laughs> Go back to our room where it's nice and air conditioned because today's a humid day cloudy and rainy so all the mosquitoes are out when we went to downtown veradero we went to cuba cell and we got a sim card and there was a plan for 250 cup that gives you some data and some minutes and texting so we're able to put that in our iphone and now we have data to be able to use if we need to you know make a phone call check an email and it's really handy to have. We're just gonna relax and have a cigar here because the room is smoking. And then we're gonna go to dinner. We have the hotel made for us dinner reservations at the Japanese restaurant. <laughs> to have breakfast with this gorgeous view so this is one of the a la carte restaurants and um, as part of the level upgrade you have an a la carte breakfast you don't have to go to the buffet i think i'm gonna have a ooh. we are ready for dinner today was pretty cloudy so as you can see I got really burnt and it's still early in our trip. So I'll definitely be in the shade tomorrow, but I'm like super red. We're about to head for dinner and it's coming down raining. It's gonna be a beautiful night listening to the rain and the thunderstorms. And good thing it started in the afternoon and we spent the whole day swimming and being at the beach. We're gonna go have some food at the Mediterranean restaurant. <laughs> DuPont house and um, I'm not really a history buff but DuPont I believe was a French guy, writer, poet maybe, I don't know. But this was his house in Cuba in Veradero and we did a little tour, beautiful wine cellar downstairs and um, it's like the view is unbelievable. Well now we're gonna have some cigars and drinks so on the rooftop and just enjoy the beautiful view overlooking the golf course for the Melilla Las Americas so we're literally right next to it. Uh, and your chef will be Argentinian today. <laughs>
to the cabaret show in Veradero, which is at the Amelia International, just outside the hotel. And there was a guy on the beach today promoting it. And we decided that definitely we're gonna take advantage of that and go check it out. And it was a beautiful evening, a beautiful dancing, singing, great costumes. So it was lots of fun. The show starts at 10 and until around midnight. And then there's like a disco until three in the morning. We had a great time. And when you buy the tickets, you get three drinks included per person. And you get a little VIP table. The waitresses come around and serve you the whole time. And it's a fantastic experience. So I definitely recommend it. And for now, hasta mañana. by the pool. This is the level pool where you have food and drinks and some great music. So not sure if you can hear me because it's super loud but today's just pool day because I got super sunburned and today we're hanging out with some friends um, who we met in Cuba a couple of years ago. I'm not sure where we're gonna go, if we're gonna go to downtown Veradero or we're gonna hang out at the uh, DuPont Mansion, the DuPont House right beside the hotel for uh, some food downstairs. There's a beautiful restaurant and then retire upstairs to the top floor for some drinks and cigars. chicken we just had was by far the best I've ever had in my life. Now, you know, people say, oh, the food's not really great in Cuba, but that's actually not true. This restaurant here at uh, the Melilla Las Americas, so during lunchtime, the roasted chicken is unbelievable. dinner right now with this amazing view at the Xanadu house or the DuPont house. Oh, here comes the wine.
at the buffet and relaxing a little bit just outside the lobby having some coffee and um, Pablo smoking some cigars. Well, it was a super quick after dinner coffee. This was my outfit for tonight. And I really love the dress and these shoes. So I'm ready for another day at the beach tomorrow. Paddle boating. The water is so clear and turquoise, it's unbelievable. I don't know if you can hear me, the music's pretty loud, but we're at the Marina Veradero and there's some cafes and shops and bars here. We're just hanging out on our last full day here. lunch in this little restaurant at the Marina Veradero. They only take credit card which is actually quite unique for Cuba. Got our tickets from the bus and uh, we're just waiting. So this is a double-decker bus and it drives you all up and down Veradero and it's hop on hop off all day and i believe the last bus is at 9 p.m so the marina veradero is on like the end of veradero and then you can go all the way down to downtown and back and stop it stops at all the hotels so it's super convenient and an easy way to get around that's cheap as well um you know if you want to go sightseeing and shopping the tickets for the double decker bus five american or five euros and they do accept cash or um, they will take your credit card on the bus and they'll they'll give you these tickets just 
made it inside the Beatles bar here in Veradero downtown and just in time because the clouds are getting dark and the wind is picking up and it looks like the storm is gonna be crazy so we're just gonna watch the storm while we have some drinks here and I definitely highly highly recommend this place the Beatles bar they have live music at night blues jazz rock and it's a cool vibe very cool place and they have only drinks and they do accept credit cards here so good tip um, we're gonna start off with a couple of daiquiris and uh, see where the day takes us and the air conditioning in here is nice so it's gonna be nice to just to watch the storm outside and have some drinks So we are leaving today in about two hours and we are just about to have some beautiful Cuban lunch at La Plaza America and we're just sitting head down here and we ordered some chicken with uh, little veggies and rice and pina colada. to the airport and we still have about half an hour before the check-in counter opens we're gonna pay as soon as they open for the airport lounge access which is 40 Canadian dollars per person it gives you Wi-Fi it gives you snacks food drinks coffee everything all included fully air-conditioned and uh, you can also smoke your cigars in there so that's really nice and I'm waiting for Pablo he's smoking outside because I have to be in here because it's 35 degrees and it's hot. It's pretty much empty right now. So I'll wait to get my coffee after. And also they have officially removed all restrictions in Cuba, all masks, all that. It's pretty much all up to you. And even in the airport. And uh, it's really, really nice to be feeling normal again. So we finally went through, checked in, went through customs and security, and we're now at the airport lounge in Veradero. And it's fully air conditioned because in the airport, I don't know why, but the air conditioning, if there is any, you don't feel it. And it's 36 degrees outside Celsius. It is absolutely worth it to pay for this lounge. And there's also a little smoking area. And when you pay for access for the airport lounge, if you don't do it in advance, once you get to the airport, just look for a lady walking around with a sign that says VIP lounge, and she will take you to the front of the line at the check-in counter, front of the line uh, for customs, and then you just go through security as normal, and then she takes you to the lounge. So it's super convenient. Right now, we're enjoying a beautiful, beautiful coffee made with condensed milk. I believe this really only happened to us because we paid for the airport lounge. So the lady kind of follows you and stays close to you throughout the whole process once you're going through customs and security and all that. So as we went with our carry-ons through security, one of our bags, we forgot, we bought a bottle of rum. We went through security, obviously you can't take that through as a carry-on. They were talking amongst themselves and the security said, you know, you gotta throw it out, you know, I'm sorry. And then the lady stepped in and said, hey, why don't I take your suitcase back to check-in? Uh, because apparently we weren't able to go back to check in the suitcase so she suggested for her to take the suitcase take our passport check it in bring us back the receipt with the passport so we're like wow that's really nice of you thank you she totally helped us out and everybody was totally fine with it i don't know if that happens anywhere in the world but definitely in cuba